Hello YouTube viewers, subscribers, everybody out there that's watching. Um, I'm probably getting tired of seeing Tecumseh videos, but I wanted to make this one, uh, well, not that I'm going to rebuild it, but just for learning purposes. It doesn't really say on there what its letters are. Here, let me get a good shot for you. There we go. Hopefully you can pause that and get those numbers if you want to look up some further information on this uh, on this engine here. Now why is that on there? Turn that off. First thing I'm going to do here is uh, check the oil. It's probably a little bit dirty. It, it's got some hours on it. I usually change about twice a season, sometimes three, because it, it gets some hours of usage. But uh, I'm using this, huh, I guess you could say this is sponsored by McDonald's. No. Anyway, I'm using this napkin that I'm throwing around here and can't hold. Uh, just so you can see the color of the oil that's actually in the crankcase and you'll see why this is relevant in just a little bit um, I mean that that looks normal in fact it really isn't all that dirty and you shouldn't handle motor oil but I do that's that's what's in the crankcase and you can see it, it's full it, it does not I don't think this engine burns any oil except for uh, maybe startup, the first initial startup, which I'll, I'll start it up. It's going to be a really, really cold start because this has been sitting for a couple weeks probably. I need to get some more of these because those tabs just feel like they're going to snap off. Okay, and as for fuel, um, we're good. You know, about a half a tank. I'll show you this air cleaner. It's kind of a neat design. If you see this little, see this little part right here, that goes underneath the shroud. And as this, as the flywheel is rotating and you know blowing air to cool the fins it's also blowing air into here um, which I guess helps feed it warm air uh, even when it's cold out well, I'll give you a look this you know the, this carburetor this carburetor is brand new as of uh, two seasons ago it is adjustable I've got it adjusted to where it only uses one tank of gas per four hours of cutting time approximately and that's grass that's you know anywhere from four four to eight inches high doesn't use any at all but let's look right here see that greasy little spot where my flashlight is that's the tube coming off of the crankcase breather now these engines do not have a crankcase breather uh, like Briggs and Strat, where it's in the side where your valves are. If you take the shroud off, right under here, you got to take flywheel off too. There's a big hole about this big in the uh, top of the crankcase body, and inside there's a plastic piece that's about about yay deep, about let's say it, it looks like a shot glass and at the bottom of it it's got holes in it about this big you know several of them in a circle with a rubber stopper it's basically a one-way valve it's got a piece of foam or some kind of foam like material and a ring to hold it in place that drops down, in, down into the crankcase 
and on top of it, well, on the outer edge, or go, there is a gasket because it's actually about the, about this big around. Gasket goes around the outer edge of it, uh, and then there's a metal ring, and you insert there's there's a rubber piece about that big around, and it has this tube here that comes out of it. It fits through that, and you screw in this metal bracket, holds everything in place. Just to give you an idea of how this is, just just in case you don't don't know or haven't seen it before. But when you take that breather out, you can look in the engine, and you can see the crank, uh, the crankshaft, and you know pretty much anything you need to see in there. And it was healthy. It had sludge in it. I flushed it out. Put uh, put a little bit of diesel in it. Just a little bit. Ran it. Drained it. And by running it, I mean only I don't know. 10, 15 seconds maybe. But uh, shoot, it was a quiet engine. But this air cleaner is kind of nice. This fits. Well, on there, it's it's got to lip the whole way around. It's not like some of them where you're going to get water in it, and that, and as you can see, there's no water. There's dirt. There's a little bit of oil because well, there's two reasons. That's the air filter element. Now I have questions about about this air filter. It's the same thing. You clean it. You put a little bit of oil on it just like you do a Briggs, a Kohl, or any of those. But this little piece here that's split still attached. If we look down in here, that's what goes down into the carburetor right here. This here is where the air comes in, that's, that's the air induction that comes in from the uh, flywheel spinning. This little slot here which we'll get to in a minute, is what attaches to the crankcase breather. Now, this engine, even when I even when I first got it, I believed had blow by. But I'm thinking because of the position of where they put the crankcase breather, you know, the connecting rods right about here and the crankcase breather sitting over here. You know, that's pretty close. So you might get a little bit of oil that comes up through there. And any engine that I've seen with this oil filter or this type of setup, this is all this always has a little bit of oil on it. I don't know if that's you know that's the way they work, or you know, if something was wrong before I got it. But here's what I don't understand. Look down in there. Hopefully you're getting the right color. That is gray. That is that is silver. Now, the only two reasons I've ever seen silver or gray colored motor oil is either you got water in your oil, which I don't believe I do because I just showed you the uh, oil in the crankcase and it's a normal color, or you've got metal shavings in there. You know the engines wear. Now, I don't have that color. I'm going to try and get a sample of it with this here. Uh, you know, I know the engine's worn. It's old. Okay, as you can look there, you know, that, that pretty much looks like aluminum paint. But, what is this? Where is this coming from? I mean, even if there was a little bit of water that got in here, you know, the heat of the engine as much as I've ran this, where did that come from? You know, why is that a different color than what's in the crankcase? Or is the connecting rod disintegrating as, as it's running in the, in the uh, splash and the blow-by that's going up through the uh, breather? is ending up here. 
And I can guarantee you, and you'll see in a minute when I got this running, that there is enough that it is getting to the carburetor. And I may tell you that the breather that's in there, the breather assembly, is brand new. This had a brand. When I redid this, I was given a brand new spark plug, a brand new muffler, a brand new carburetor, and brand new intake gaskets. So this, and I did a compression test on it, and I believe it was 85 at the time. I do not have a compression tester on me now, or I'd test it now. But uh, I'm going to put this on a tripod and uh, try and start it. And the reason I say try is never had this issue before, but when it's cold, and by cold I mean cold outside, not that cold, it's in the 50s I think, but uh, it becomes harder to start, and that could be because of the 10W40 oil I have in it now. But it seems pretty happy. But anyway, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start this up so you can hear what it sounds like when it's, it's cold. And uh, I'm going to let it warm up to operating temperature. I'll push it out in my yard there. And uh, then I'll show you what I mean by the blow-by. And hopefully you'll get to see what, um, what it usually does far as the blow by and in the excessive amount of gray oil that it pumps out of there and I can't figure that part out Okay, that's better. Anyway, the hunting that you heard to do on startup never did that before. The linkages are all clean, free. Uh, the carburetor's adjusted optimally. It does that when it's really, really cold, but once it's warm, it's fine. It's got plenty of power. It does not stall out, like my Briggs here. In fact, I have yet to stall it. Uh, but I think that may be related to the blow-by and the extra crap that's coming up through the carburetor that you'll see once I get this engine hot. So I'm going to go push it out in the yard, let it run for a while, and get the engine good and hot and come back. That's just a little shot so you can hear that sometimes you can't hear engine noises close up. That's just what it sounds like from a distance. Okay, here's what we got. The engine's warmed up. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to show you and do before I do it because it's a lot easier than having a screaming engine next to you. Hopefully you can understand me right now. Um, I'm going to do... The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Turn the governor by hand so that it's at idle or, you know, at a lower RPM. And I'm going to let go of it so you can hear it speed up to the RPM that it's at now, which is, you know, pretty much in between. It, it probably could go a little bit higher, but I'm going to do that so you can hear how well that it, that it, uh, that it accelerates. And I'm also going to give it a couple quick revs with it, so you can hear the tone of the engine. After that, I'm going to take the cover off of the air cleaner, and I'm going to show you that space where the uh, breather is coming from the crankcase, and you can see where it looks like it's pumping up gray sludge, and you'll also see a lot of vapors coming off of it, hopefully. Uh, but let's go ahead and do that, and I can get this video posted.
pretty much it. I did see it puffing out some smoke here. But keep in mind, I do have some Marvel Mystery Oil in the fuel, which, you know, could contribute to that. But if you look down in there, hopefully it's showing up good. That's just gray sludge. Now, the amount of oil that it was pumping up through there, it always did that some. And it always did have a little bit of blow by it. I don't think that's normal. I'm not questioning it because it runs very good on fuel. So let me know.